Uh, David Plummer. I think first and foremost, uh, I'm a, a husband and a father. So I've got two little kids. I've got a, a seven-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. Um, and, and I've been married for 10 years to my beautiful wife, Nikki. And so first and foremost, that's what I am. Uh, second, I, I'm, a, I'm a television producer. You know, I, I live and breathe TV and movies and, uh, you know, all that entertainment in general. That's, that's kind of me in a nutshell. I grew up in a small town in Indiana called Warsaw, Indiana. Uh, one of my sort of heroes was always David Letterman, who was from Indiana. And so I always really looked up to him a lot. And, and so I think growing up, I always kind of wanted to be him. And I knew that, you know, I knew I wanted to work in the television industry in some capacity, but wasn't sure how. But he was sort of my guiding light. He was sort of the person I was like, I, I want to do what he's doing. I think my skyrocket was was Letterman. I, I had no experience. I had no contacts. I just, on a whim, I was always like, it's you know, because he always used to feature his interns on TV, and I was, I was I would always be like, wow, that's really cool. So I just found out who I sent who I was supposed to send my resume to. I sent it, and then they called like two weeks later and had me fly out and interviewed me, and then they gave me the internship. So after Letterman, I came back because I was just a I was a freshman in college at that time. So I. Uh, I came back to Chicago, was going to school at Columbia College, and I was approached at that point, uh, somebody, an internship coordinator at Columbia walked in and they said, hey, this television show called Siskel and Ebert uh, is looking for, for an intern. And, um, and nobody else seemed to be interested. And I was like, that's a, that's a huge show. I'm like, I, I'll do that, you know? So they got my name, they interviewed me, they hired me. Uh, I started there in 1998. Uh, so this was about a year before Gene Siskel yeah. passed away. And uh, essentially I was there for 13 years. I started as an intern and then ended up as the executive producer of the show till 2010. Not only was I working with somebody like Roger Ebert, who is a teacher, uh, you learn so much from his writing. I mean, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning writer as well as, you know, a big TV star, you know, and one of the greatest work, work ethics, you, you know, I ever could have seen and uh, just a great example. And it's just an amazing way for me to sort of start my professional career. Uh, it, it was a great experience. The challenge for somebody like me, I've been in the industry now for boy, 22 years, you know, I've been working and, uh, it's figuring out what your next step is going to be anytime. I mean, I love my job now. Like I, you know, I, uh, the show Windy City Live and I love producing that show. Um, I think it's always just, especially living in Chicago, it's all right. You know, that's kind of a, that's not necessarily a normal thing. You know, I don't work in news. I work in entertainment television in Chicago, and that's that's kind of rare that I've been able to continuously work for 20 years here. But yeah, I'm part of the, the Chicago Film Critics Association. I'm part of the Broadcast Film Critics Association. Um, so yeah, I think I, I learned from the best, you know, and so I, that's always gonna be a part of me, I think.